Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mighty High's World. This is episode 93, and the last episode we did some work in the end at our Endman farm. But this episode we are starting off under the library we built quite a few episodes ago now. In fact, this was my first time lapse I ever done on this channel. Uh, but, but that's by the by, I guess. Uh, so today we are going to be doing something pretty interesting. And the hint is behind me, if you, with all that never walk. Uh, basically, we are going to be building some potion brewing systems. So the systems we are going to be building is basically the design I made a tutorial on a few days ago now. It was the last redstone video I'd done anyway, so we're going to be building them under the library because potions and enchanting kind of go together in a strange way, or I think they do anyway, so why not have it underneath the library, hey? So I think the first thing that we probably need to do around here is uh, make the landscape a bit more easier to be building around because uh, we are going to be using quite a bit of redstone. Luckily enough, I think I actually have enough redstone resources to do this project, um, but I think we'll have to wait and see on that one. Another thing is that you may notice last episode we had our iron armor on, and I'm still using iron, and I'm using iron tools as well. So the reason why I've got a load of iron armor at the moment is basically because at the witch hut I've I'm creating a massive perimeter and that was the source of me dying so if I die again at least I'm not going to be losing much if that makes sense so I do have some enchantments on here at least I have uh, put them to level 30 enchants but I haven't actually done anything else with them but we got feather falling on our boots and protection and stuff like that and we've also got thorns so it's not the best armour in the world, but it suited me alright. And also, before I forget, we've also got another zombie head. And that's probably the reason why my armour's a bit trashed at the moment. Because uh, a thunderstorm happened and I managed to get a charged creeper to blow up a zombie. So we've got two zombie heads now and we've got two creeper heads as well. So the only thing I need now is another skeleton head and we'll be sorted. So... With that said, I think it's probably about time to uh, go to sleep and flatten this area out a bit. I'm not entirely sure how big we want it, but I do know that every potion station we make is a 8x3. So that sounds like a big footprint, but it's not really. So let's uh, plan out this area and I'll get back to you guys. But first, let's go to bed, eh? Right, so I've cleared out some space now and this should be more than enough room for what we need. Although it is a square instead of a circle, I don't think that will matter too much. Um, I've also replanted this neverwort as well because even though I necessarily don't really use much neverwort, um, when you do need it, you very rarely have much of it. So it might be worth making a neverwort farm at some point because you can make pretty cool stuff out of it like red never brick and stuff like that so that might be an interesting project to uh, take care of at some point but it won't be now uh, so I think it's probably a good idea to uh, plan out where all these potion systems are going to go uh, so I've got dirt on me apparently so I think one of them can go here that's a hopper not dirt but oh well I'll just leave it there for now so they're eight by three, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's three. So one of them can go there. The next one can probably go here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we could move. Yeah, let's uh, take two blocks away from there and add them to there, and then we've got a gap in the middle there. Then. Just because I think sometimes it's cool to actually space these apart, not just have them next to each other. But that's just a personal preference, I guess. So we can have one on this side, one on this side. And then we could probably have one here. So we can have one there and... 
I'm two blocks away from this to make another one. So if I take this away two blocks, then we can actually build another one there. And then we can have the same on this side as well. So we can have one, two, three, four, five, about six burn stations. And if we wanted to, we could probably have a couple in the middle as well. So let's just clear this out quickly and I'll get back to you. All oh, right, so we're back and I've kind of done a bit more than I should do really. So as you saw in the last clip, I was basically going to move this side here a couple of blocks over, which I've done. Um, I can't move this side anymore because we've actually got this there. This is our uh, secret entrance leading into the map room. So I can't do anything on this side. So I've had to move it over to this side. So. I think on this side I've moved about five blocks off but I'm really not entirely sure and that might be a problem but I can't see it being a problem. It's going to be off from the actual middle but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so yeah I've had to move this side off three, three or four blocks. Uh, so yeah, so this white concrete here is basically the outline of where the potion brewing systems are going to go essentially um so we've got one we've got about six here at the moment i do need to move this though so let's just move this quickly and then we can actually start building these because i think it's been enough time already so it's an eight by three so that's just a marker really so what we do is we go up a couple of blocks and then we get our droppers and we need to face our droppers that way and then we need another two like that and then the last one faces that way then what we can do is we can get some hoppers leading into a spare block for now so if I just grab my hoppers so if we just lead all these hoppers going that way into a junk block for now because I'll do something with that in the minute so now we've got our droppers and some of the hoppers in there. We do need to actually add another few hoppers here. So I think if I add a hopper there for now, that will be fine. Because this is going to be where our um, blaze powder is. And then the other three are basically going to be for the other potion items. Right, so now we've got our droppers in. It's probably time to do the other bits of redstone. And I don't really have any decent blocks on me, do I? Uh, no, I probably should get some concrete made up. So let's do that quickly and I'll be back with you. All right, so instead of making up some concrete, I've basically just got myself a bucket of water instead. I'm hoping that will do the job. Um, but yeah, so what I wanted to do is add some blocks behind these droppers, basically. So if I just put some powdered concrete there and then put some water over it that will turn into regular concrete I don't really have a pickaxe to be fair because the one I was using broke clearing this out and also my shovel broke as well so I've had to get a new shovel but that's not a problem because dirt breaks easier than any other block but anyway going off on a tangent so we've got our blocks behind these droppers now so what we want to do then is we do actually need another block there or solid block there even so let's just do that with the water as well we just do that luckily there's no redstone at the moment so now we've got our uh, blocks there we can now add some redstone torches on top of these blocks like so so if we add one uh, not there on there 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 and there these droppers will go off but it doesn't really matter at the moment i've also got some um, purple glass as well because I think we should be using some glass for this project as well and purple suits whatever's on the top so that's the colour I've gone with basically uh, so now we want our repeaters and we face our repeaters going into the block where the torches are on and we do actually need to uh, time these so that's two three and four and then we need some redstone there and that's pretty much all the redstone components you need apart from all the hoppers and stuff 
We've got some potion brewing stuff in here as well. So I'm going to just grab the potion brewing stands for now. So I think the brewing stand goes about here. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's about there. So then what we do basically is we have a hopper leading into the back of this station there. And then if we jump up, we can place one there and one on top of that hopper there. So if we put any item in there, it should end up in that hopper there. And it does. I've just put a two money in there. So that's that. And then we basically do the same with this hopper line. But instead it goes onto the top of the brewing stand. So if we put another hopper on top of there and then link that into there. Anything that goes into these hoppers will go onto the top of the brewing stand. So if I put a bit of coal in here. That should end up in this hopper and it does. So now we just need to add a hopper to the other side with a couple of chests. And this is basically for our water bottles. So if we add one, I think I'll be alright with a single chest there to be fair, thinking about it. Um, yeah, I think that would be fine actually. You could put a double chest there. That The original design was a double chest, but I'll just use a single chest. Um, and that's pretty much it to be honest with you then what we can do is we can add um, a solid block there so if I just add some water to this concrete and get a button out uh, do I have a button no apparently I don't my redstone box doesn't have any buttons in it what is going on Alright, so button acquired and we basically just need to put a button there and that's pretty much all the redstone you need. It's really that simple. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is fill these droppers up with items. So it depends on what potion you want to be making basically, but I need some blaze powder. Uh, all potions need blaze powder anyway. And then we need a bit of never wart, which I've got, so that's alright. Uh, so then I think I'll make this the fire resistance for now and then we need some redstone which we've got so We put our never war in this dropper here. Then we put our Magma cream in that dropper there and then we put the extender which is redstone or um, Blaze powder not blaze powder um, glowstone dust in the end one. It depends what kind of potion you want to be using and also there are potions that do need more resources than this, for example invisibility potions, but I don't really use them that much. I don't really use many potions that much anyway. So if I do want an invisibility potion, all I'd need to do is add that there, put another repeater and um, torch on the top of this dropper, and then change the timings a tiny bit, but I think that will do for now. So if we get rid of this dropper, all right, so that eventually broke, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much done now. So if we, uh, we've got all our ingredients in there, we need our blaze powder in there. So let's just make up some of that and chuck that in there. That should be more than enough for what we need. And then I need to put some glass bottles in here. So um, let's just make a makeshift water stream system thingy. That'll do. For this and then I'll get rid of some of my items that I've got and then we can get some water going because I've got some uh, glass bottles here so if we make a few glass bottles doesn't have to be many for now and then we can put the glass bottles in this chest here they go into that hot that they go into the brewing stand as you can see there and then all we need to do is click this button everything will go off as you can see the brewing station is already starting so yeah so it's already dispensed the blaze powder it's got the never wart in there and then we've got our magma cream and redstone in this hopper here ready to go in so that is pretty much it ladies and gentlemen so what i'm going to do is i'll build this another six times on all these platforms here marked out and i'll uh, come back to you Alright, so I just went to my storage room to make an iron pickaxe and I've come across something really interesting. You see that guy over there? It's a jelly cat! <laughs> yeah, we, 
we've actually come across a jelly cat. So let's try and tame him, hey. Because I haven't got this type of cat. And there's an ocelot up there as well, apparently. Hopefully we can. I've got enough fish for it. Oh, he's... Yeah. Oh, how cute are you? And he loves me. He loves me. Yay, we got another cat. That's awesome. So let's move him inside at least. We don't want him out in the dark, do we? All alone and on his lonesome. So let's move him up to where all our other animals are. Still got to do something with them. I keep forgetting about them, guys. But is he going to teleport to me or is he just going to be there? Hmm. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hopefully they can teleport to me. But I'm not entirely sure. So if I go f far enough up, they should teleport, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Is it going to teleport to me here? No? Apparently not. Oh. Oh. That's annoying. Oh well, let's go down here and um, I think I'll just have to leave him here for now, to be fair, because I don't want him dying on the magma blocks. So yeah, <laughs> we got a jelly cat at last. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you look so cute. Hello, little kitty. Do you want another fishy? Do you want another fishy? There you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get back to the uh, task at hand, which is the potion brewing. And I've got to be careful not to actually stitch myself up here. Cool. <laughs> And it's night, obviously. So let's go to bed and finish off the potions. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So I was just uh, doing my thing, making some brewing stands and listening to some music. And this happened. A creeper literally just dropped on top of me and blew up. Uh, hopefully the damage isn't too much. Although we can check now if we can actually get there luckily i'm here and not anywhere else so it shouldn't take too long to get hello jelly hi there to get there and yeah it's probably because i'm <laughs> building in at night but yeah anyway oh there's another creeper there what is going on there's two of them there now jesus oh man and a zombie on me for god's sake Right, let's try and see if we can find a weapon in here. Most likely not. Uh, there's arrows. No weapon. Hmm. See if we can find a bow quickly. I know I have loads of spare bows around here somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Uh, let's check. There's got to be one in one of these chests somewhere. Yeah, there we are. Power 2, unbreaking 2, that will do. I've got enough arrows to kill them at least. There's probably going to be a lot more creepers or mobs there. What? Hello, how did you get in? <laughs> he followed me in. <laughs> He's trespassing. So are you. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> get lost. I don't need you. Thank you very much. Yep, there's a skeleton. There's a zombie. The, the creepers have gone at least. The skeleton might kill me though. No, nope, he dead. And that spider as well. So, yeah. Uh, okay then. Ah! How many more do you want to... Ah! Shame that zombie couldn't use that bow, innit? Hey, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, what is going on today? Um, I need to pick up my sword, at least. What can I get rid of? I can get rid of you and you. Okay, I've got some food at least. Uh, what else do I need? You can go. And what? Oh, for goodness sake. Get lost. I'm trying to pick up my stuff here. I do not need people getting in the way. Thank you very much. Right, okay. I think we're sorted now. Um, didn't actually do any damage to this at least. I've got four of them in. I've just got to do another two now. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Another strange thing, apparently it's dark enough and low enough for bats to be spawning here for some random reason. I do not know why. I didn't think they could spawn in places like this, but apparently they can. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've got all our brewing stations in now, and this is looking pretty cool. I do think they might need to be changed a bit because some of them are looking a bit odd, but I think I'll leave it for now because it's looking all right. So I do need to add a button onto all of these quickly. So I'll just add some powdered concrete for now and then a button. So if we just grab our buttons up, we can place one on there and there there and there i think this one's already got a button on but i'll place one there instead so the only thing left to do now is to fill these droppers so this one's already been done so let's go to the next one and we need some blaze powder in there so let's just grab a tiny bit of blaze powder out so if we put a tiny bit of blaze powder in there then we want some never war in there we are going to be using glycerin melons for this one i guess and then redstone, is it redstone? No, it's glowstone for glycerin melon because you want to make it stronger, don't you? Where's my glowstone? I thought I had some, but apparently not. So I'm going to have to break some glowstone blocks instead. So let's just grab some of this and get some dust. I think that'll be enough. So if we put that in there, where did it go? Did I not pick it up? Apparently not. Okay. Um... What can we check? Let's get rid of that gunpowder quickly. Right, cool. So we can put that in there. And that should make us... I think it's regen, regen, but it could be um, health. So let's click the button. Any? Oh, no, I don't have any water in there. Ah, my brain is frazzled today. So anyway, let's just use free bowls for now. My inventory is dead again like always this is starting to become a problem now so let's just chuck all them in there and get some water bottles cool so then we can put them in this chest oh no 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 not that not that not that we want bottles thank you cool so that should be brewing now and yeah we've got our stuff in there so the next one we can have uh water breathing I guess so if we put our puffer fish in there never war in there and blaze powder and then it's redstone for this isn't it so let's just chuck a few in there not too many uh, right okay cool and then we need our water bottles as well so let's just chuck some of them in there right okay cool and we chuck them in this chest here like so I think no it was the wrong chest <laughs> God's sake. Oh well, let's just grab some more anyway, eh? Cool, so let's chuck you in there. And then this start, should start brewing if I press this button. So let's press this button. And we've got our blaze powder, we've got the neverwort, we've got puffer fish and redstone. So that's all good. So this one can be night vision. I don't have many gold carrots, but I've got enough for now, so... Yeah, so if we chuck them in the middle one, we need some never wart in there as well. So chuck that in there and redstone. So let's just chuck a tiny bit more in there. And then obviously we need our blaze powder as well. So let's put you in there. Righto, so now we've got fire resistance. Uh, what one's this? This is health, instant health too. So it is a glycerin melon for instant health. I thought it was the uh, ghast here, but that must be regen. And then we've got our uh, water breathing in this one, which is brewing up. Then this one is night vision. So if we press this button, we should get some potion potions brewing. Yep. And then golden apple and redstone for night vision. This one can be... What have I got left? Oh, um, slow falling, I guess. So if we chuck our uh, phantom membranes in there and some blaze powder in there, along with the never wart and some redstone, then this should brew up some slow falling potions, but I do need to get some more bottles. So let's just chuck you, grab some of you, and then chuck them into the chest like so. Awesome, that should be starting to brew any minute now when I press this button. So, yep, we've got our blaze powder and our never walk coming through and the rest of the ingredients. 
So the last one is probably going to be strength. Uh, yes, indeed it is. So let's grab some more blaze powder and chuck half of you in there and then half of it in there. Then we need our neverwort and redstone. Yeah, redstone. Cool. So if I get some bottles in there. No. Oh, I ran out of glass, apparently. Got some more in here somewhere. There we go. Cool. So let's just grab a few more bottles. I think that'll be enough. Put them in this chest and that should start brewing. So is it? Nope. Let's press this button. And then we get our items coming through. So have I? What's going on here? Hey? Oh, that's why they've all gone into that hopper instead. <laughs> I've added another hopper by accident. Oops. <laughs> anyway, let's press this button again and we should get some brewing sorted. So we've got our blaze powder, never war, and the rest of the stuff in there. So that's all good. So this is all brewing up nicely now. So we've got our fire resistance potions in there. We have our instant health here or instant health too then we've got our water breathing potions and then our night vision for eight minutes then this is our slow falling for four minutes and then on this side we have our strength potions which is just about brewing at the moment so it shouldn't take too long so here's our awkward potion that turns into strength and then that will be strength we want strength too, so we don't need the redstone, we need the uh, glowstone dust, don't we? I've just realised that. Luckily I made it. Luckily I uh, figured that one out before it actually brewed. So let's just uh, grab some glowstone dust. Alright, so we've got our glowstone dust now, so we can put that in the end one here. And that should give us strength too, but I'm actually going to just take one out and put that in the brewing stand just so I don't have to press the button again so if we put that there that will be strength 2 then and there we have it ladies and gentlemen strength 2 for 1 minute 30 unfortunately but it's kind of alright I guess strength 2 is a lot better than strength but the time is really low but anyway so ladies and gentlemen we have our fully automatic potion brewing stations here and this has taken quite a long time to do to be fair but we've got it done and I could possibly move some of these stations around a bit so it looks a bit more uniform but for now I think I'll leave it like that um so the next episode we will get on with decorating this place once I actually find some inspiration for it but for now unfortunately I am out of time for this episode so thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!